So this is about how to write key messages. You'll have seen, if you looked at our conservation evidence synopses or the medical synopsis, that, that each section or intervention has a set of key messages at the top. And the, the art of writing those is what we're, what we're going to be trying out this afternoon. It's an, interesting, it's an interesting thing to try and do. So what are key messages? I think that the, the key messages are the core facts that you want your audience to remember. And they should be clear and easy to read. Most importantly, they might well be the only part that people read. So when people are using a synopsis of evidence, it's very likely indeed that they will only read the key messages and that then they'll walk away having got the message. So you need to make sure that what they say is correct, accurate, and the thing that you want to convey from the evidence. There are some really good examples of, of key message writing. Some of the, the best I know about have been done by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And they don't quite serve the same purpose as our key messages because they're not summarising a whole body of evidence in the same way. But if you go and look at them, in the, in the summary for policymakers that the IPCC produced, they're just very clear. And I, I think this one, I'm not going to read it all out, but the second part of this, this key message here was particularly good, I thought, because it, it brings together a really very very wide and, and complex body of evidence into something very simple. The global increases in carbon dioxide concentration are due primarily to fossil fuel use and land use change, while those of methane and nitrous oxide are primarily due to agriculture. I just think that's it's so clear, it's so good, and yet it's quite difficult to get to that from reading the evidence itself. You need somebody to have made that summary statement in order to understand the whole body of science about climate change. So that's a good example. And, and also in the, in the clinical evidence book, which we have here, and you're very welcome to have a look at that when you have a go at trying to write them yourself, the key messages are quite good. And that's where we, what we modelled our synopsis on. So how do you do it? How do you write key messages? The first thing to say is that it, it can be very challenging. It, it can be difficult. The most important thing to keep in mind is that you've got to keep your language clear and you've got to stay as simple as you can. And as I've said before, imagine when you were looking at a body of evidence which you're trying to summarise into key messages, imagine you have to explain what the evidence says verbally to someone who's not a scientist and you have about 20 seconds to do it. Then try and write down what you, what you said, which often changes the way that you, you talk about it entirely. We almost always find that the evidence in these sections that we're trying to summarise is messy, complex, doesn't quite fit the mould, which is why it's such a challenging exercise. So you need to identify the key results here. And the first, the first key messages that you should present are, should be about the overall response to the intervention. And you have to keep in mind, what, what is the objective of this intervention? In the case of biodiversity, interventions to, to enhance or maintain biodiversity, the objective is to have populations or communities of species that are either increasing or the same as they were before. So that's your objective. In the case of, say, ecosystem services or sustainable farming, your objectives might be slightly different. So you might be, the objective here is to reduce the inputs of chemicals or the objective is to reduce emissions of greenhouse gas. And you need to be clear about what it is that's the main objective for that intervention so that that can be your first key message. Here's the evidence that this reduces greenhouse gas emissions, say. There's another level of this, which is, which is kind of two different things. There's, there's a, evidence relating to the, the uptake of an intervention or the individual response to it, which is where there's evidence about that intervention. I think we were talking about it earlier. There's evidence about the intervention, but it doesn't give you the, the, the objective of the intervention. It just gives you some part of that. So, for example, if you're looking at an intervention which is an agri-environment scheme, there's some evidence about whether farmers actually do the agri-environment scheme when it's presented to them, which has nothing to do with... Well, it's not, it's, it's not evidence that, on whether the agri-environment scheme works, but it's one part of that. So that's a secondary level of information. And in your key messages, that should come second after the first one, if you have evidence about the main objective. And if you don't have evidence about the main objective, that should also come first. So 
we've looked at all these studies, there is no evidence, we don't find any evidence that this intervention meets its main objective, then the next one is, but 25 of the 50 studies showed that the intervention was used in the way it was intended to be used. It's, it's not always easy to make that distinction, but usually it is. And then there might be side effects or adverse effects or unexpected effects, and those should come third in the key messages, if you have them, which you don't always. But I love this devil. It's my favourite devil I found. I was looking for some devil pictures, and I thought this one was really cool. <laughs> what I thought was most cool about it was that it, it's sort of very smooth. It looks like a kind of devil morph suit thing. So it's to, it's to just say the devil is in the detail, which is a horrible cliche, but in, in key message writing, you can so easily get wrapped up in the detail and you have to go back and take it all out, start again, cut all the detail, bunch it up into one great overall statement. And that's quite hard to do. It's very hard to do. So this is a, a picture of a devil, but he's in a morph suit and all the detail is gone from his body. This is one way to do it. This, this might not work for you, but this is one way that I found really worked well for me. If you have a big section and you have... Here, there are just four studies to illustrate, but you, you, you're quite likely to have 25 or 40 different studies. How do you start to write key messages? And one approach is just to say, right, I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at all these studies, quickly read the paragraphs, the, the summary paragraphs, and for each one, I'm going to just say what the design was, whether the effect was positive, negative, or mixed, and what the response metric was. And when you've done that, then you write the key messages from this table rather than from the paragraphs. So here, and this is, this, is the, this is how you cut out the detail. From this table, you've already cut out all the detail. What you've got is the core facts for each one. Then you can say, for this intervention, there are, there are so what, is, what, what seems to be the case for this intervention looking at this evidence is that it works for birds, but not, not so consistently for insects, because you have two replicated or replicated controlled trials that find a positive effect for birds. And you have two other studies that are, are one's replicated controlled and finds a negative effect for insects. One is a site comparison study, so it's not so rigorous in its design, and it finds a mixed effect for insects. But we don't, we're not going to make a judgment about this. This works for birds and not for insects. We're just going to present the evidence as it is there. So we're going to say there have been four studies, four trials of this intervention. Two of them one of which is replicated and controlled, or two of them, both of which are replicated, find benefits for birds. One finds an adverse or, or a decline in insects. You can, see, you can see how difficult it is to do this. It's really tough. So each bullet point in the set of key messages should have a number of, thing, number of pieces of information in it. It should say the number of studies with that finding, and then it should also give you the total number of studies that looked for that effect and it should provide an indicator of the evidence quality. So what you want to say, when you come, what, we, what you want to see when you come to a set of key messages is not just how many studies found the effect that you're interested in, how many found a benefit, but how many total studies there were of which this many found a benefit. Otherwise, you can't judge how good the evidence is. Ten studies that found a benefit look great if there's only been ten studies. If there have been a hundred studies, not so good. So you need to get that information in. And here's an example to show you what, they, what we would hope that they look like. So this is about planting hedges for wildlife on farmland. Three studies from the UK and France compared newly planted hedges with control areas. So they have the total number of studies and what they've been doing. All, including one literature review and one replicated trial, found that newly planted hedges had more beetle species than crop fields or field margins. One also found more individual beetles in, a newly planted hedge, in newly planted hedges. So I, I, they're almost never perfect, these key messages. You can't always follow all the guidelines. In this case, we've broken up the first sentence, so it's not just giving the result, because we had to say how many studies there were. Sometimes you can say three of six studies, or all three studies that have been carried out. But in this case, the best way to word it has been to say there have been three studies doing this. They've all found a benefit. <laughs> 